Union and Olympic gold medal back at Athens in 2004. Good champ, my boy. Certainly rank where he wants to rank if he defeated Kovalev. Well, I think truthfully when he's fighting, he is definitely the best power, power guy out there right now because of who he's beaten. Well, and it's also a great style fight. I mean, you know, Roy Jones told us between fights why it is that Andre Ward is so good against punchers. Kovalev is along with Golovkin. So he's trying to figure out still what kind of power Andre has. Oh, he landed a good right. He brings exactly what he needs for the particular job. That's a professional. With a beautiful double hook to the head. He's bent out right, left hook right there, left hook again, and his back is off the rope. So he can continue to proceed to the middle of the ring. Biggest guy here tonight. I'm just as big as you are when it comes to heart and fighting ability. And that's what Andre is doing tonight. As a full fledged light heavyweight, and early on, he seems to have the boxing advantage against the and he knocks him down with a quick left hook. And then a beautiful left hook high on the top of the head. That shot sent Sullivan Barrera to the canvas. Beautiful left hook. Harold, how do you have it through three? I'll get you. I got it three to nothing. 30 to 26. Andre won. I tell you. Um, is he sacrificing speed and defense a little bit here? Or is his speed and defense, has it been compromised by the layoff and by age? No, his speed and defense is built in already. This is what he does. Good hook by Ward. Andre Ward is so quick on the trigger with his left hook. Separate himself over the second half of the fight as he fully exploits what he sees up close. Yep. There you go. Yep. Straight right hand and left hook, both landing. Jab lands. Now jab to the body. Jab to the body again. And he comes upstairs with the right hand. At mid-range. Good body shot by Barrera. Ward gets him back. Another straight shot right up the middle, perfectly landed by Ward. Label. Um, because those guys aren't just showing up. Drives him and makes him good. He's one of the things that makes him best. Left hooks in there, Roy, even when they're not landing. Good quick left hook again inside by Andre. Jab down with his right hand, counter with a short six inch straight right hand, take the hook to the body and come back with his own hook to the head. Back out. They were throwing punches to score points. He does not do that. And People felt he beat Kalzaki. It didn't work out that way, but he was considered a. That's right. Oh, good body shot. And down goes Barrera after the body shot, and Caiz is going to say it was a low blow. So there'll be no knockdown. And now Sullivan Barrera for right now Virgil it seems that he came out a little more flat-footed uh, to start the fight was he trying to prove a point that he then it's camouflaged and just gonna happen but nothing's gonna happen after great body shot by Ward that hurts so really hard body shot by Andre left hand Sullivan Barrera backed away got it another good quick left hook by Ward as we're dis dis discussing here the location and the nature of the cut could affect that. And now we go to round 10, or round 11, I should say, into the championship rounds. Power punching display here by Andre Ward. Super quick left hook. Ooh, there it is again. Right hand landed for Barrera. Didn't produce any returns. Right hand landed on the ropes and got hit with a straight right hand. And if Kovalev... My question would be, how could he look better than this? What is he going to do that's going to make him better? There's you a see right hand right landed right there. It took him 12 rounds. Wants to do. So most likely there'll be a lot of discussion before ultimately it's determined whether Ward fights Kovalev in the next fight or one fight beyond. I'm sure we'll be talking about it on the fight game. Still undefeated. 
Andre S.O.G.